So Jenny was invited to the Met Gala this year, and she showed up like this. <laughs> Oops, my bad she actually showed up like this. Boring. Yawning. Sloppy. Lazy. She showed up looking like she was going to a music bank show. If you told me she was dressed in a middle school homecoming dress that was picked up from the Ross clearance sale, I would believe you. Now the theme of this year's Met Gala was Karl Lagerfeld, and if you don't know who Karl Lagerfeld was, he was a very talented, horrible person, as controversial as he was, he played a major role in fashion, and had a heavy impact and really helped brand. Coco Chanel, that's why some people attending the Met Gala this year, is either wearing Chanel or they're wearing something that is in honor of him, so with that being said, I already knew Jenny was going to show up in something Chanel, plus Jenny is one of Chanel's brand ambassadors. So it was a no-brainer that she would show up in Chanel, now here's the thing. Chanel has been in their flop era for a very long time now. Their recent pieces has been very 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 ugly and boring. So Jenny was either going to come out looking iconic or very very boring, there was no in-between. The only way Jenny was gonna come out looking somewhat decent, if they dressed her in an iconic couture vintage Chanel archive, kinda like Lily Depp Rose 2019 Met Gala look, as much of a terrible actress that she is. She knows how to pull a vintage Chanel archive. Now Jenny was wearing an archive, I will give her that, but it was an ugly one, and that's what even makes it worse. Because how do you pull a whole archive and still manage to look very boring and plain, she is wearing Chanel Fall 1990 Couture, designed by Karl Lagerfeld himself, so the dress might have been very boring and ugly, but hey, at least she was on theme. They had every opportunity to make her Met Gala debut something truly iconic like Chanel has so many, iconic amazing beautiful, stunning drop dead gorgeous archive vintage pieces, so for them to put her in this, is just insulting. This dress looked like the ugly, stepsister version of Rosé's boring Met Gala dress last year. They honestly need to stop inviting K-pop idols, particularly Blackpink to this event if they are just going to give us Inkageo dresses, like they are truly giving us nothing. They are allergic to serving, because how does the two members of Blackpink attend the Met Gala, and both times. Each of their outfits are boring, uninspired, and ugly, like please be so serious. And I know somebody is about to play devil's advocate, and be up in my comments saying, she had no choice on what she wanted to, where, and that's just some BS, if you truly truly believe these celebrities have no say in what they want to wear, then you are very dumb, and you guys only use this tired excuse when a celebrity pops up in something ugly. You all never say this when they look good, if I was Jenny and Chanel showed me this dress, I wouldn't even show up.